hey my friend Jean-Serge Gagnon here so today we're going to talk about click creating your first course on Click Eco. so we're going to go through the whole process of registering your account and then setting up your profile and then creating a course and adding lessons to the course so we're going to go through that because I'm actually going to be creating a course from that which you're you might be maybe you're seeing it right now maybe you're seeing this this is what you're seeing is the course which will be laid out in separate sections where it'll be like you know register your account set up your profile uh create a course and then add a lesson to a course right so we're going to kind of lay that out this way right now I'm actually if you're watching the live or you're watching the the, the video on YouTube you're going to see the whole thing uh it's going to include some some comments some discussions some errors maybe and it, in the final cut it'll be just the pieces that are you know what are intended to and at the same time I'm actually going to create a course that is about some things you might not know about me I have five videos that I did a while ago I'm going to create a little course a mini course if you will on the five things you didn't know about me and we're going to you're going to be able to see the process of doing that and how the click ecourse platform works and the basics of it and I'm doing this because well obviously <clears throat> I need to be able to show you how to use the platform you need to be able to know how to use the platform any platform has got its little idiosyncrasies it's got its little features that aren't obvious to some but more obvious to others so you nobody <clears throat> we never know who can understand the details of everything just by looking at it right I mean I know how it works because I did it but uh, that doesn't mean everybody else will automatically know how it works all right so let's get right to it let me share the screen and show you what click ecourse looks like <clears throat> all right so click ecourse if you go to clickecourse.com let's put the link right there <clears throat> sorry about my throat there uh clickecourse.com uh, if you go to clickecourse.com it's going to look like this this is exactly what it's going to look like is going to be um the welcome to click ecourse side <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you can hear it the background I got my daughter there um so this when you go to the site you're going to end up on the about page on the site itself just to give you a quick overview there's um the the logo uh, picture up here that if you click on ends up taking you to this page uh there's a leaderboard <clears throat> which uh currently um lists the active points the total all-time points it shows you kind of who in the platform has gotten uh the most um active points or the most uh, anyways it's, it's a leaderboard right so eventually we're going to give out prizes based on those based on those uh where you are in the leaderboard the feed is kind of a social media feed similar to what Facebook is you'll see in here people adding videos people commenting people adding lessons to courses people changing their cover photo people change posting to their feed like I was uh, doing in another episode I was doing that showing you if you add a lesson to a course um some news about the website itself and eventually you'll see more things right now it's mostly me I, you know there is a Cynthia right here that just got an account set up we got that set up last night for her she's going to be creating a course and that's her profile picture you can see right there uh that's the feed and then under uh the uh, courses uh, tab or page if you will the courses tab basically lists the courses that are available on the site you'll see more and more courses being added here right down here you've got these are little test courses I probably should delete those but anyways <clears throat> for an, and actually you know I uh, can't do it yeah those are created by test users all right so that's and then and then the plans is basically what are the different levels of access the, the basic and when you're on the there's a free plan which contains all these features over here you can see the features here and then the other plans have more features more features more features and you can see which one has the like for example the this all the ones that are yes here in green that's because the this plan has all these features and of course it includes all the other features from pre previous plans what are all the features there's a there needs to be more details maybe the, uh, added to this but <clears throat> basically these different features have uh, our kind of overview right here right with the uh, ability to hide ads for example uh accessing to ac uh, disable intro video in your for, if for your students in your course for example you can do that in the 
most uh, the highest level plan and then down here there's the prices and the commissions and things like that okay so now first when you first like I said when you first go to the site you're just going to see the about page right here right and <clears throat> once you're on the site let's just get the link uh there so once you're on the site you'll want to click so yeah so because I'm doing this uh course this episode to create a course for clicky course we're going to kind of pause that right here and uh, so that was the introduction the introduction to the clicky course the basic very basic introduction uh okay so let's talk about registering so this is video number two about registering your account so to register your account it's pretty straightforward you'll see there's a register link at the top of the page right here a register button if you will <coughs> let me put my video a register link right there you click on that register link and then it basically just asks you for an email now me because I've already registered and I've got a bunch of accounts on here some test accounts I've got uh it fills it in for me but let's just clear it up this is what it looks like when you first go there and in the red email address of course you're going to put your email address it has to be a valid email address because if you because we're going to send you an activation link you need to be able to receive that right so I'm going to just say mark at fxos.com I have a, a domain I can put whatever I want so I'm just going to put that okay so mark at fxos.com is my login address so I'm going to click on the register oh here's the other thing you're going to see right here who referred you to the site because this is a completely affiliate based site uh commissions on monthly fees and things like that are available to you so if you set up your account and you become an affiliate you can then send your link to people and whenever they click it and they click on the register they're going to see that they were referred by you right here and you can actually test it yourself by going to your own link in an incognito window or some other browser and you're going to see that it says referred by you right when once you use your link right all right so now we click on the register button um and that takes that basically just gives me all this it says account created it says account created please check your email at mark at fxos for a link to activate it so that within a few moments maybe a minute maybe a two you're going to get an email that uh, that gives you a link to activate your account so you can keep browsing you can go around and keep browsing go to courses look at uh, courses you can see in the courses for example the ones that are free you can say show price and then now you see the price of the courses you see the free ones let's uh, go to one of the free ones so you see how the navigation works you're going to see the uh the header of the course the title of the course the summary of the course and the details of the course as well as the lessons in the course if you just scroll down a little bit you're going to see the lessons down here right now it says course must be added to your library you would have to click the unlock course to get it on your library so anyways that's basic access to courses while we're waiting for the email I'm going to go to my inbox here and I'm going to say look at that I have an account activation on click ecourse right here if I open it up basically it tells me welcome to click ecourse you or someone else requested an account and if you did not you can just ignore this email as activation link will expire after two days so it's only valid for two days if you were to click the link two days later it'll just tell you it's it's a uh, disabled it's not active you can always uh, there's going to be the option to send another activation link which will send another email to your inbox right uh you may let us know to delete the account if you want right if this is if you get this email because somebody used your email address you can have the account disabled however if you, however if you did request the account you are sim a simple step away from having access just click the link to activate so you see the link right here with a u and a k equals kind of thing with a special code you click that it'll open up in a new tab in your brow and then it says successfully activated your account woohoo so we've got an account so that's how you register your account you end up on the feed with a post from uh, other people in here and you're got an account you can see up here there's your profile and there's a logout instead of a login button all right so that was the uh, registration now we're going to talk about setting up your account we're going to talk about setting up your account and as I said before this is this is kind of like a, a, a this is a video and an, an episode I'm doing to show you these things but I'm going to split up these videos I'm going to cut out some things 
and that's why I'm kind of reintroducing and that's why I'm saying things because I'm going to take that part and put it in an actual course which will be a separate course from this because right in this uh, episode I'm going to actually create another course a different course and we're going to show you how that works okay all right so this is video number three in the series and we're going to talk about setting up your profile how do you set up your profile it's pretty much the same as any other social media platform you just got to know where to go and in the case of Click eCourse once you're logged in you're going to see that you have a little logo right here which is your logo um profile access you just click that and you end up on your profile page which lets you set your profile picture so we're just going to choose a file in here I'm going to go and put in a an image from um, let's put uh, let's say uh, let's put this one sure let's put this one so we're going to put that one there so um and I, I can just save it right now <laughs> and then you're going to see what it looks like you can see that the profile picture changes as well as the top little corner thing once it's uploaded the picture you see that that's there that's my profile picture okay so now the other thing is you want to use you want to set a username a username is what you're going to use to share everything uh if I if I if you see any link you can replace the www with your username so I'm going to say mark test I'm just going to call it mark test because I don't want anybody else to be this this is mark test account oops that's not right mark I'm going to put that as the last name well let's just say mark test and then we're going to say mark test account okay so there's there's a couple of things here going on so first your display name is what everybody's going to see in the feed in the in your course uh, description all those things where you're where you we need to tell people who you are it's going to show the display name right the first name and last name that's mainly for the system to be able to send you emails and know who you are and uh, to identify you because as an affiliate you need to uh, identify yourself so we know who you are uh, for a legal perspective right short bio it's just a something that's going to show up on your about page that people can go and see who you are so you, you want to put something in there that's uh, that's short and sweet not too long and that kind of gives a, an idea of who you are to people right so I'm just going to say this is a test account um and doing episode ep doing episode <coughs> episode 214 is it yes 214 of course income secrets you can see it at cis214.jscanyon.com so I'm just going to put that there because this is what's going to show up once we've finished this and that link is going to it's not going to work right now but <coughs> let's create a link I'm sorry about my throat I've got this uh <coughs> and there you go okay so now I'm going to save that <coughs> okay and uh, now I've got the profile set up now the next thing you want to do is you want to go to time zone you want to make sure that you set your time zone properly let's go say for example America uh, let's go America interesting uh, I don't know Los Angeles okay I save that and the reason why that's there it's important is because everything that has everything that's got a time stamp we want to know who who uh, you want to know exactly what time things are right and it, it's going to be based on your local time right instead of saying you know Greenwich Mean Time or something like that right okay so now we want to put an address one two three Main Street in uh in Maine City that's in Maine and it's uh one two three four five uh, USA one two three one two three one two three four four right gender is a male gen 19 what uh, let's say 1977 uh, February 14th there you go okay so now I save that now the reason why you need to do all that is because if you want to become an affiliate which you do you definitely want to have an income you want to be paid 
you want to put in here I'm just with test at let's say mark test at it's actually still just mark I'm going to use the same account I mean obviously that doesn't exist but uh, that's basically what you need to do it says here you must set your PayPal account I'm going to save that and now I have my everything set up I can read the terms of use <coughs> the terms over here right um I can read the uh, rules of conduct make sure that I agree with all this and then I can actually request to be an affiliate and I can say I have read the terms and rules and then I save it all right so now I'm an affiliate so now you can see up here the share link shows up you can right click it and say copy link address and that gives you the link to share with your friends so that they will be referred by you and you get the commission if they ever decide to buy anything or they ever decide to uh, sign up for a paid plan so that's how that works so that's how you set up your account all right so now we're going to talk about creating a course so we're going to actually create a course in the platform again if you go to click ecourse.com you set up your account if you go check out the there's going to be a little course on there that's going to allow you to do all this uh, this these episodes I'm doing right now are going to be split to get split up so go ahead and go to click ecourse and set up an account and go check out the training there all right so <clears throat> so creating a course creating a course is pretty simple if you're on say on the main page you're logged in uh, you're going to see there's a little green plus right here and you can say create a course right if I click on that create a course it's going to go right into adding a brand new course on the platform with nothing no um with no title no it says new course new course new course right so right now what we're going to do we're going to create a course of the five things you might five things you might not know about me so it's going to say five things well I'll just say things you may not know about me so find out about about me I've put together short videos about things you may or may not know about me the five things there are many other things so the, obviously the, the the title the summary the details that's really up to you whatever you want to put in there uh, but we're creating an actual course right now that's going to be about me right about me about find out about Jean-Serge Gagnon just going to do this <clears throat> many other things I could talk about about but I put together these quick videos to show you some little bits about me so anyways like I said it's whatever you want I'm going to click on the next right here and I'm not going to worry about this we're going to go straight to the cover image and I'm going to choose a file here and I'm going to make this uh do I have another let's use this one again right or not it doesn't really matter it should be maybe it should be something like this um maybe it should be one of these things or what's this expertise tv let's know I don't know what that is I cracked the code there you, let's put that one sure let's put that one so uh I click on next that will save that and then um the next is the price commission so this is going to be a zero dollar course obviously there's no commission if there if it's not a, a course is it downloadable sure let's allow it to embedded player no it's not embedded um and that's it let's just say access yeah let's just say that's it let's save it okay so now this is how you create a course that's as simple as that now the course is created it's not public yet 
but you've created your course you've created the course now you have to add lessons to it right so how do you add lessons we're going to cover that in the next lesson in the next video uh, right now we're going to talk about the plan so sorry cut that out we're going to talk about the lessons in the next video so go check that out all right so now we're going to go to the next next video which is going to be about lessons adding a lesson adding multiple lessons to your course so let's do that all right so you've got your course that's created now you want to add the lessons to add lessons of course it's relatively simple you can click on the lessons a little plus right here that's down the bottom here or you can even go to the plus and click on the lesson to add a lesson to the course <laughs> if you'd like uh, the other option is if you're inside the lessons list which right now is empty um, you can click on add new lesson so that all takes you to the same place it's all the same those three ways are the same so but this is how you add a lesson so let's go to my youtube channel and let's go find the videos of my uh <clears throat> go to my videos well actually uh, yeah that's fine no let's go to youtube youtube studio it makes it easier to find things and use the links and that kind of stuff so if you're on your youtube channel you go to youtube channel you go to your videos and now you have your videos that are all here and I'm going to go to my little videos that are short little videos down here I did it a little bit ago I got five of them we're going to just do that we got the five of them right here okay so right there the number okay so we got number we got five of them so 109 so these are the videos so I'm just going to take this here uh which one's that something you may not uh really interested in wildflowers okay so let's just get shareable link right here go back to the clicky course oops that's not the right one let's close that go back to here and we're just going to put in here the uri so you just put the url of the youtube video you click on save that's it that's it that lets you create a lesson now you've got a lesson if I click on the course link right here that takes me back to the course and you can see right here that I have this video it says the same thing here so what I want to do is I want to click on the edit icon right underneath the video and I want to say I want to change this to um I'm just going to take this out in my case I'm just going to put the title like this and I'm just going to leave the summary like that and in the details I'm actually going to go because I did uh, put some stuff in here I'm just going to go in, into uh, YouTube and get the details that I have in here and I'm going to put that right in here just like that and uh, the other thing I want to put is the length of the video this is a 109 so I'm going to put 109 right there I'm going to save that and back to the course I click on the course link at the bottom there and if I look and now I can see that it says I was an amateur botanist lesson one and I'm click on this to play it you can see that it's going to start playing the little intro turn the sound out that's a little intro that's part of all the videos well it'll play it only once and then play another one right it's not um going to play it every time so this and then this is the video so that's the video there all right so now if I go back to the course I want to add another lesson I just can go here like I said you can click on the little plus to the lesson I'm going to add another one and I'm going to go back to YouTube I'm going to add the second one to in my series which is the number two right here get shareable link right there go back to here whoops put that in here go like this save that so that's my second lesson I'm just going to go ahead and add the third one I will edit them afterwards so number three is this one put that in here under uri there we go now we got three of them right I'm going to say add new lesson again go back over here number one two three one two three we got this one now let's get the fourth one put this number one right here and then we're going to we're going to add another one the very last one let's add the last one here 
and let's go to this this video here the last one is this one and there we go so now we have the five things and the five videos <clears throat> so now if, if I if I just click on back to list right here it kind of list gives me the list of the videos you can see they're all drafts that's because I didn't publish them I can actually go here this one here let's edit them all let's go back to edit right here on this one this is the this is the house one so let's look at the house one I'm going to go here I'm going to get the text from the house one I'm going to go back to here I'm going to put that in here and I'm just going to put remove that and just put the time in here which is 56 so 0 56 save it okay back to list again and you know what uh let's let's edit this last this third one here uh again I'm going to go back to here it's going to be this one is which one this is the uh, Neulix one okay so Neulix one is this one all right and it's 106 so 106 106 and I'm just going to put that in here like this save it and actually you know what we're going to do we're going to publish this if I click on this I just change the status to published right now it doesn't really matter because you're creating your course you haven't published the course itself but you want to publish the uh, lessons because that makes them um if I go back to the list here that makes them well makes them green <laughs> you want to make them green right so let's go back and edit this one going to make this published as well save that and then I'm going to go back to the list again and I'm going to edit this one I'm going to make it published I'm going to save that and go back to the list okay let's just edit the last two make sure that I have them I was an amateur photographer the photographer one photographer is this one okay 58 seconds and we're going to put the 58 seconds right here 0 58 and we're going to publish it at the same time we do all that at the same time that way it's all it's all done and back to list now you can see there's only one left I'm going to edit this last one I'm going to make it uh, published and I'm going to go and it's here it's the Sinclair ZX81 what's going on my computer is uh, acting up that's kind of weird eh let's reload the screen that's got to be a chrome problem right a browser problem and let's go back down here I gotta go back to the end and that was which one was it this is the computer one this one here so 59 there you go my first computer and this is 59 0 59 okay so now whoops that's not gonna work and now we have <clears throat> now we have the five we have five lessons if I go to my list here we have five lessons in my course and they're all published if I go back to the course itself by clicking the course link it shows me the course and it shows me the lessons down here right so now I can publish this course so now this is let's go let's uh, cancel uh, stop this video we're going to do the next episode the next uh, lesson which will be um, creating publishing your course all right okay so now you want to publish your course you're seeing your course it's right here you see your lessons you've got them loaded up uh you can you can watch your lessons if you want you can play them you'll be able to see the lessons play right um and you'll be able to watch the lessons you'll be able to do everything but nobody else will because it's a not published course if I go to the edit the course I can go here edit and I can publish the course by just going under access up here and I can change that to public or to unlisted you can you also have other options here but I'm just going to make it public right now 
that just tells me a warning that you're going to publish the course I say okay I say done and now my course is public now it's public it says this course is available with anyone so now if I go and I take this link that's up here right I copy that and I go into a new incognito window and I paste that here now I can see this course as a visitor right I can see the course and it lets me unlock the course and that's that's the process somebody who goes to the site they want to unlock the course it'll tell you that you have to register an account or log in you must register or log in a free account because you, before you can add this course now if you wanted people to be able to access the course without even having to have an account you can make it so they can watch these right if I go to my course back to my course in my in my logged in account right I can edit one of these lessons I'm going to go here I'm going to edit the lesson and I'm going to make this a free access we see right here where it says free access I'm going to say yes and I'm going to say save that and that's and then that's it oh you know what that's what's going on okay okay so uh in the other thing in your course if I go back to the course here one thing that I did which I shouldn't have done is in my course and that should be disabled that should not be in there and even an option embedded player I turn that off uh, you can't turn it off if you're uh, on the free account you have to get a paid account to be able to do that that should not even be an option I should probably make it not even available so now if I click on here and if I go back to here and I reload this page now you'll see that this one says watch free lesson now right so these ones are still unlocked but I can actually watch this and they'll actually play the video for me let's uh let this volume off. so that's the little intro you're gonna people are gonna have to have this intro that's part of the platform but it's just 10 seconds and then the video plays right the actual video plays right from hey how's it going mute that so right from YouTube that's the video that's playing right now it's going to show um <coughs> well you can see the video it's the lesson oh, on the side here you can see the other lessons you can skip straight to number three by going like this but this one because you're not logged in and that one's not free then it shows you this right it says this not this course is sorry this course lesson is not available to you right now even though this is a free course you must log in or register to watch this lesson and that's basically how the platform works so what else can I tell you um the other thing is you see how there's these little ads on the side these little ads can be disabled if you uh, on a certain on certain plans right on the free plan you can't disable that we got to have some way of generating revenue right so that's there and the other thing you'll see right here is private info to you all this is not going to show up like if I go back to the this one you can see that in the course if I go back to the course you can see there's no there's nothing there right there's no information on the course if I log in as say I log in as myself or some test account <clears throat> now you see there's there's the information on the course but there isn't there isn't any of the public information here right now I'm another visitor I can add this course to my library I can just click on add to your library and now that is in my library now I can start the course which will take me to the first video so if you that's the intro video then after that the video is going to start and it's actually going to play the lessons so let's just uh, take a look the other thing hey how's it going Jean-Serge Gagnon here so something that you may or may not know about me is I'm a little bit of a fanatic about understanding the nature around me the plants and the these plants over here the flowers I actually love will show me the information how many seconds were played so eight seconds were played so far in the course right that's pretty so that shows you how many so how popular the course is compared to other courses right you can actually go to the courses page here and you can show details and that shows details and then you can list as a list which gives you more details the rating the when it was created the lessons the files the total length who the author is right and in this case we'll see our course in there which is where is it 
there this one here mark test account you see how it says mark test account that's what we put <coughs> as a uh, display name right so yeah so that's the basics of the Click eCourse platform once you have a course it shows up in the list here I can show you just the picture view <coughs> I can do the the picture and description or, or, or title view with a bit of with the price if we want you can see the prices here and if you want to sell your course oh you know what we should probably talk about that so if you want to sell your course if I go back to the site here I'm on the course right here I want to edit this course it's free right now I can actually make this course sellable right so the price right here I'm going to make this uh I don't know let's make this 27 27 dollar I'm going to give 90 percent commission because I don't really care about the money I just want the leads and now the course is nine 27 dollars right so once the course has a price on it uh, let's reload this so you can see the course there if we see the course down here you're going to see it's oh all the prices uh, let's show the price uh where is it can we see it there it is right here things you may not know about me 27 dollars right it says it's 27 dollars now I can click on it I already have it you have access right and I can share this I can share this with Bobby this person here is Bobby 14 is the is the share um, name and if you share that let's copy this copy link address so this is Bobby tester or something I think right so let's just <clears throat> no let's not worry about it okay so but that's the thing so you can use this link to tell people how to get to your course or you just give them clickycourse.com course things you may not know about me right and that's as uh, simple as that um okay so what else did I want to show you here all right the coupon so now it's 27 dollars and I want to give this course away for free I want to say free and I'm going to say zero dollars and it's going to be um 10 people so I do that I got a uh, I got a coupon now and over here I'm going to give it seven dollars as a deal until the 30th of and this will be there too <clears throat> there we go okay so now if I go here and I reload this page you'll see that the price is now going to show oh I guess that's not that didn't work the price is going to oh that's because I'm logged in so log out there you go so now you see the price is now showing seven dollars until a certain date and even if I want to I can get it for free if I use this coupon it's just coupon free I'm going to say free and now it's zero dollars free right remain 10 of 10 so if somebody else has used up the coupon it'll show nine eight seven to ten right so you can kind of see how many are left of the coupons so those are the things you can do with the platform and and, and a lot more obviously and I hope you enjoyed this and we'll see you in the next episode this has been Course Income Secrets, the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Ooh. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon, until next time.